Well, hello everyone. It is April and today I'm styling my space. If you are new to my channel, just a little introduction about my space. My husband put this lovely library together for me last year, in the summer of last year. But there were missing pieces like coffee tables and did have my chair, but I didn't really style it. So today we're going to be styling the coffee table. We're going to be styling this chair that I'm sitting in. Uh, apologies if you hear running around in the background. I've got my dog Winnie just racing around, chewing on things she shouldn't be. He's insane and will be in the background. So in a little bit, I'm going to be cutting away to me trying to style this room. I think it came off really well. And I will say that I got a little help from Skillshare. As you guys know, I am working with Skillshare this year, which is very exciting and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, and this month, I decided to take a course by Emily Henderson. She's very well known in the interior design world. And she has a course called Style Your Space. So I watched the whole course and I really enjoyed it because it also includes things uh, like a quiz to help you find out what your particular style is going to be. And at the very end, you watch her creating a space. She actually styles an entire living room from the coffee table to the mantle. She does everything. So I took a lot of inspiration from that to make this video. Now Skillshare, if you don't know, is an online learning platform. There are thousands of courses. It's always very hard to choose which ones you want to watch because there are so many of them. And you can learn everything from interior design, which is what I have been leaning towards more than anything else personally, because it's a passion of mine. Uh, but you can also learn about graphic design and illustration. There are so many amazing illustration courses on there. Uh, I don't feel like I'm talented enough for that, but um, maybe I'll try it out at some point. But there are tons of classes to choose from. So the first 1000 people who use the link in the description box or my code will get one month free of a trial for Skillshare. Winnie's gonna squeak her way through this. Let's dive in to the styling. We should start with what we're working with. We're working with a dog racing around and it's quite messy as you can see. Here is the chair and the coffee table uh, that we need to first tidy up. We really need to tidy up the whole space before we get into anything. I've got books on there from recording past videos. So after tidying the rest of the room, I'm gonna focus in and start working on the chair itself. This is not overwhelming, but as you can see, I moved the faux sheepskin rug to the floor. And then the Livy pillow is back in its rightful place and I've put the throw blanket on the side here. I think that's looking much better than it was. In Emily's course, she recommends gathering a bunch of decorative items together. So as you can see, I've got a nice vase there with some dried baby's breath, some coasters that were from my nanny and poppy. And then this beautiful book is from one of you guys. I'm so lucky. A little apple. My grandparents called me McApple. And then a little kind of ceramic bowl, some beads. These just came in from Amazon, a little candle. And I actually thrifted this. I'm not even sure what it is. And then of course the library book that Barry got for me. And now it's time to start with a clean slate. So I've got only my coffee table here, which I got from Structube. Really, really like it. Love that lip at the edge of it. I just think it looks great. I'm going to ground the space with the coffee table book. Emily recommends working in threes. So I'm adding the vase with the dried flowers on top. And then that little apple, 
I like that there's some gold detailing. It matches with the room a bit. And then the beads. And I think that's a nice little pairing there. I decided to add my dad's sculpture that he made when he was a teenager. I used to be actually a little scared of it when I was a kid. I thought he was screaming. It turns out he's singing. And now it's my like most prized possession. So I think you'll notice that I just added those coasters and I felt like it needed a little something else. And then I was kind of going back and forth between the coasters and this little bowl, which I think is quite lovely. But the coasters truthfully mean more because they were my nanny and my poppies. And so I decided ultimately to go with the coasters instead and just kind of, I don't know, place them a little more nicely. And this is it guys. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I really focused on colors and matching colors together a little bit. So you'll see the sculpture, the brown in the sculpture matches the browns within the cover of the coffee table book. The green stems from the dried baby's breath kind of works with the actual coasters which have some green in them and some blue in them so i'm just thrilled with how this has turned out i feel like my little library is getting closer and closer to completion and here it is all together i really like it I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video. My reading nook is complete, uh, complete with Winnie still squeaking in the background, uh, her little fox toy. So I hope you guys are doing well and I'll chat with you very soon. Bye.